but folks, we got something going on today I don't like to do. We're gonna have to do a set out. Got a tenant that's, he's been trouble all along. I probably shouldn't have ever rented to him, you know, but y'all give in those sob stories sometime. And the man was a veteran, I wanted to give him a chance, you know. He pulled all the right strings on my heart today, you know, cause I'm not a heartless landlord. I try to be good to my tenants. But anyway, this guy, I gave him every chance in the world. And today's the day. I'm on a bumpy road, folks. I guess y'all think that's all around here in Tuscaloosa Bumpy Road, but it's not. I just travel them a lot. But anyway, he hadn't made any effort to try to, you know, take care of the situation or deal with it. So today at two o'clock, we meet the sheriff. We we'll set his stuff on the curb. You know, undoubtedly, I was more worried about than he was because he hadn't tried to do anything. You know, it's, it's the bad part of this business, but it's the first one I've had doing about three years. And with the amount of property I have, that's good because I try to work with the people. But this guy just, uh, you know, he wasn't going to do it. So, hey, we will set his stuff out today. I don't have anybody to blame but me, and I don't want anybody, you know, buck stops with me. I still approve all applications for people renting. And, you know, I broke some of my own rules, and this is what happens. It's gonna be hot setting his crap out, though, I can tell you that. That's why I got plenty of help, so I ain't just watch. I tell you, when it gets to this point, I'm through feeling sorry for him. You know, we can, you know, you, you can't change people. You want to help people. You know, I've told y'all the story about my dad being a disabled veteran. So, you know, I wanted to help this man. But, you know, they got to want to help themselves. So, it is part of it. It's the bad part. But trust me, there's a lot more good than there is bad. You don't have much of this if you do right. And don't break your own rules. I'm talking to you, Rick Jarman. Don't break your own rules. Y'all have a good one. Well, it's over with now. We got him set out. We changed the locks on the house. The deputy stays there while you're doing it, just for your protection and see that everything's carried out right. You know, we don't fool with this stuff. We just set it out because it's still his belongings and he come get them. Had no abandoned car, so we had to call and get it towed in, well, had to be billed back to me. I'll be looking forward to that. Of course, I got a security deposit, but you know, that ain't enough sometimes, but we're gonna clean it up. He didn't mess the house up bad, take a little touch up painting, rent it again. Now, I'm gonna find me a big old Mountain Dew and a pack of nabs. For y'all that don't know what nabs are down here in the south, a pack of nabs is peanut butter crackers. They were originally made by the Misco and the folks used to say, give me a pack of them nabs. I like them nabs. Of course, you look at me and tell I like a lot of things. But anyway, Rick Jarman, real estate investing old school. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go find the air conditioning. And this fat boy going to cool off.